Regarding Just Believe, there is a song where it says, I believe I can fly. It was one of my favorite songs in high school. There is so much meaning to the lyrics of this song. One part that really struck my heart is the message that if you truly believe something, it opens you up to the possibility of it. Flying is a metaphor for manifesting your dreams into reality. You have to believe it first to achieve it. It is great to have such beliefs and hope in our day-to-day -day lives. It's what inspires us, moves us, and picks us back up when we have fallen. It is great to believe in a dream that drives us to be better, even if others say the dream is impossible or unbelievable. You can just believe. However, when it comes to faith, should I just believe in what any person of authority says? If I just believe, will it come true or make it true? What about what the media publishes about my faith? What I read as a testimony of an anonymous person? What about accusations without substance? Should I just believe? Wisdom is defined as the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. It is important for any individual to make a wise and careful decision in believing. In the Bible, whether in the Old Testament or the New Testament, God gives His people important messages, sometimes life-saving wisdom, through many messengers who spoke on His behalf. Proverbs 14.15 says, The simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. When it comes to our religious beliefs, it is important that we do not believe in everything, but we first test everything to see whether they are true or false, good or evil, beneficial or harmful. Today, there are accusations and claims laid out against the people of Shincheonji. People say that the pastor, Lee Man Hee, has stolen from the church. These accusations and rumors have been in the public for more than 20 years. Lee Man Hee won in court because the evidence spoke for his innocence and against his accusers. People say that Lee Man Hee encourages people to leave their families and divorce their partners, to leave their workplaces and schools. Such people have even created and aired false reports and videos to make these accusations seem true. As a result, there have been detailed police investigations and court rulings to determine the validity of these statements. The police concluded that there was no basis to these broadcasted rumors, and the high courts, appellate courts, have judged these broadcasts against Shinchinji to be wrong and false. There's evidence you can find online and the evidence from the courts serves as proof. People say that Lee Man Hee has his own private jet. Yet when he travels in South Korea, he travels in a car. When he travels internationally, he travels like everyone else in a commercial plane. No one has seen this private jet yet. It can be that the jet is hidden in a basement somewhere, being unused and untouched. It can be that this jet is not functional, because Lee Man Hee hasn't used this private jet for any of his 30 plus world tours. Realistically, from the many years I've known this pastor, he has no interest in a jet, nor any interest in wasting a single penny, especially if it's a penny that comes from the congregation's offerings and donations. Instead of baseless rumors, I want to share about the thread of connection I've seen in the Bible. In every generation of the chosen people found in Scripture, the people of God were accused and mistreated. Ultimately, the truth revealed their innocence. I want to carefully share an example from the first coming. Jesus was accused by the people at his time with false testimonies. A Gentile named Pilate examined him against these accusations and found Jesus to be without fault. 
Yet the religious people of Jerusalem wanted him dead. Jesus quoted in John 15, 25, They hated me without a cause. Today, it is the same. Before we accuse someone or slander against someone, I urge you to think twice and engage in proper research to verify that it is true. Reach out to that person and get both sides of the story. I was taught by my parents to love, to forgive, and to be a good example for the family, for my friends, and for the community. This is the instruction I have found in scripture and a teaching that I will carry out in my life. It may be difficult at times to do so, and it is certainly easier to just believe what I want to believe or say whatever I want to say. But the easier path is not the correct path when it comes to the things about God, Jesus, the Word, and our faith. People say just believe in those with the title of a pastor, those who've written books, those who claim to have experienced God, those who are fervent, and those who are not part of Shinchenji and do not actually know much about it. But they speak abusively about what they do not understand. Is that how we ought to be as believers? And are those words I should believe in as a believer of Christ? With so much that our faith can do, why have it on something that is baseless? Why have blind faith that just believes when God has given us so much of His Word to be certain of and anchor our faith on? I desire to live as a person of faith, believe in what is true, clear and evident, and be able to share this truth with many. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20 to 25, it says, But that is not the way you learn Christ. Assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is a corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Amen.